Now the Michigan man, Jake Moody, to get us started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Throwing to start here is Tua. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. And he is going to lose yardage here. A second and 11 for the 19. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A game there of 30 big ones. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make run against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I don't think either one of us is surprised about who they just targeted on that one. I mean, they're going to try and get to him as much as possible. Up to a nice start, but unable to haul that one in. Yeah, already looked his way a couple of times on this opening drive. Can't connect there. Just a pick up of three, but that is indeed enough. He had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to down one up. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Once again, it's Mostert. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Play action, now it's Tua. They're going deep for Hill. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And the Niners are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 route? Nine meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. third down conversion and even 20 yards after getting that turnover on the first drive of the game you'd hate to just stall out the momentum go three and out they're able to avoid that there and yeah, we talk about complimentary football all the time but i think it's a little bit deeper than that defense went out forced a turnover gave the ball to the offense it's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them to show respect to them. hey you guys got some turnover we appreciate it they want to continue their drive Here's Purdy on first and 10. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Got a man, that's Ayuk. 
And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. We're scoreless after one. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Birdie off the play fake. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Purdy. Under pressure, and they get to him again. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. The 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Open man is Juwan Jennings. Touchdown, 49ers! Juwan Jennings, 58 yards. And the 49ers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. After a fairly uneventful first quarter, that last play, that'll make a few highlight clips. It certainly will, and you're exactly right. The first quarter almost felt like a feeling out process, didn't it? Both teams, okay, what are we gonna do? Looks like they've ramped things up just a little bit to start the second quarter. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. A big play to start them out. Has them at the 45 already. Now two are going to change the play. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. They're going deep for Hill. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. Now a second and ten. Now a give to Mostert, running right. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. They set up the screen. A-chan has it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Two and now on first down. And he'll complete this one to Barrios. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game.
from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. They'll swing this out wide. Here's HM. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Here's Tua. All his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. And they finally put it into this return, but not before he's all the way down to the 37. Now on first down, it's Purdy. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31 yard line. On second down, McCaffrey. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. But when you go from second to four to third and three, I just told you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Here's third and three. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. 10-0 is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? Second down, here's Purdy to throw. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. Down the right sideline, Brandon Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, 79 yards. And the 49ers come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of him. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Jake Moody to kick off for the 49ers. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Oh, 
And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where... Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. Inside the 20. Boy, Charles, that is now three interceptions in three consecutive drives, and you can see he's just got a look of disgust and bad body language, understandably, as he walks off the field. And I think it comes from the fact that he's not sure what he sees down the field, Brandon. I don't know if he's seeing ghosts. I don't know if he just can't read defenses. I'm not sure what it is, but that's why he's frustrated. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. And quickly, they get to the line. Purdy now to throw off the play action. Touchdown! Debo Samuel, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point try now for Moody. And the lead is now 24. Niners 24, Dolphins nothing. Jake Moody to kick off for the 49ers. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. At their own 29 yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. But it's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. The turnover on the last drive. They... There he goes, right side. Inside the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Raheem Mostert, 71 yards. And the Dolphins are able to cut into that deficit. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. And this time, he'll be stopped short of the goal line. He might have been out of gas after the long run. In any event, the try for two fails. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. A gain of 36 yards. And the 49er first down. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. They're going to hurry back to the line now. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second. Throwing on three. second down, it's Purdy. And this is caught, Jennings. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 15-yard line. It's a gain of 23 yards. Now Purdy. This is caught. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk with now his second. 